What's going on guys, Hook here. This video is aimed at Falcon Air Pilots, which is my virtu uh, virtual uh, FSC little flying group there. Uh, this is kind of aimed at them, showing them how to utilize our latest plane, but it can also work for anybody interested in doing a uh, A2A simulations Boeing 377 flight in FSE. And also, if you're new to the plane, this will kind of show you how to get it up and running. I'll qualify the video by saying that this video is going to show newer pilots how to handle the 377. It's not going to go into the in-depth handling of the plane, uh, where you actually do the performance, uh, perform the duties of the flight engineer, pilot, all crew members. This is going to be showing how to kind of quick start things and use your virtual crew. Uh, to get up and flying. Good way for new pilots to start. So uh, we're right now at the FS Economy uh, terminal here and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to Falcon Air. We're going to rent out or uh, assign the Boeing 377. So now we have it at the bottom here. We'll want to check that fuel level. This will be important later. 32 percent right now, 2,465 gallons. We've got a couple assignments here. Uh, currently we're out of Yakima Air Terminal um, Yakima, Washington. We check and make sure that they both say departing and that our cargo is okay. Right now we're using uh, 5,445 kilos with a massive 16,000 kilos remaining, which is awesome. So all that is done. Uh, everything's good to go here, but we are not going to start the flight yet for a couple reasons. So let's go ahead and bring up P3D. And for the observant among you, you probably will notice that this is actually not a Boeing 377. This is a Cessna 172. But uh, the reason this is here is before you load in any complicated large aircraft like the Majestic Dash 8, Boeing 377 or anything, I always recommend uh, loading in a default aircraft or in this case the uh, A2A 172. The reason for that is I don't know why um, but I know that for some reason FSC may not work correctly with these larger complicated aircraft with complicated flight models Good afternoon, Captain. Good unless afternoon, sir. you load in Career a basic aircraft off. first. So whatever reason that is or isn't Hello, Heidi. Uh, happening, Hello, Heidi. I can't explain, but I, I must emphasize you do that. So as you heard my crews greeting me, we're now seated in the plane. So let's go ahead and start readying the plane for departure and this is again aimed at a novice pilot who isn't going to learn all the systems yet there's still plenty to manage so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up our shift 3 which is our controls menu and you'll see down here we have a live engineer uh, panel we're actually going to hand these over okay, to Captain. our automated uh, flight engineer everything but hold manifold pressure that'll you don't want to mess with that right now that's for later so if you give him the F engineer, uh, flight engineer station duty, the pressurization duty, and the turbos, he's going to automatically effect. jump into uh, action. You can see him setting up our flight engineer on. station, which is a whole video in itself to explain how to work that thing. Okay, so while he's doing that, we're going to hit shift, uh, shift F4, and we're going to begin getting the aircraft loaded. Now we'll check a couple things first, so we're going to change our watch. ADI fluid and our oil to make sure those are fresh. We're going to go ahead and choose what payload preset we want to use to simulate our FSE flight. We'll use light for now. So we'll click on that. And the exits are going to open. You can hear Heidi giving the terminal brief. And we're going to start loading passengers. Now you have two options here with the Shift F4 menu. You can do a real-time load or a fast load. Real-time load with light passengers takes a few minutes. If you do a click on that to change it to fast load, it will happen pretty darn quickly. So while they're loading packs and cargo, you're going to see the center of gravity move into within limits, which is important. You don't want to fly this plane out of CG. Big mistake. And then finally, we have down here, we have our fuel loading panel. Now, you don't Turn want to mess with this because FSE is supposed to do it, but I recommend that you check it uh, to make sure FSC did it correctly. Not so right now, we see that we have 32% total. So we're going to close that panel. We'll come back to it in a minute. We're going to hit Shift F8. We're going to look at our engine condition. So if we have any engine problems, we'll hit overhaul here. You hear the little wrench noise. Right now, all the engines are in uh, excellent condition. Just heard our flight engineer notify us that our uh, systems are ready for startup. So we'll be starting engines here in a minute once we get the packs loaded. I'm going to go ahead and hit fast loading here, speed things up for us. And they're going to close the main exit. Ground crew to captain, cargo is loaded and the doors are just shutting now. 
All right, and as you heard Everyone the ground crew is reporting, doors are locked. Uh, the doors are shut, so we're going to hit some lights here. And we'll put on the seat belt, no smoking lights, cabin lights. And we're going to hit Shift F3 again, and we are going to hit for the novices. We'll work on a full engine start later. We're going to hit Auto Start. Now, if you have a SATEC panel, make sure that your panel is uh, magneto switches in both positions. Otherwise, your engines are not going to start. You're going to die out. So as you can see, number one and two are starting up here. Number three and four are going to die. We're going to close this and use yours. Okay, all four engines are started, so this is where you need to start doing your duties as well to keep things going. We want to bump those engines up to just about 14, 1500 RPM. Uh, the engines do not like low idles, so they'll start to foul and die on Okay, so we'll talk about taxiing now. This isn't uh, going to be a full flight video, we're just going to get the taxi. So we'll pop the parking brake, and uh, before we do that, I'm sorry, let's put on the parking brake. Let's alt, minimize. We're going to start our FSE flight. Flight has started. We're going to check how much fuel we're supposed to have per FSE, 32%. And we are going to pull up our fuel menu and make sure that we have 32%. Now, if you want to rebalance these fuel tanks, you can do that. But do not exceed 32% fuel. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be cheating FSE there. OK, so our pre-flight FSE-wise and for the real plane is done. So we're going to kick off the park and brake. We're going to start our taxi here. And a couple of notes on taxi. Uh, you have the option of differential braking. Sign sealed now. Let's deliver them, boys. Yeah, which is effective. And you also have a nose wheel steering. Ladies and uh, right gentlemen, here. the captain okay. has put the nose wheel sign up. So uh, 377, uh, 377 rather, well uses uh, that knob is a little hard to get centered, by the way. So I Good afternoon, it. everyone. This is your captain. That. We'll be on our way shortly. It's nice weather for flying, so outside of this. relax and enjoy now, your flight. You need to know right if there's anything we can do to make your stay with us more enjoyable, just let us know right and we'll do our best to accommodate. Sit back really and enjoy the flight. Engine temperatures. If you need to see your engine temperatures, they're right here on the flight engine panel. You can hold your cursor over and glance at them. Uh, you overheat an engine, you'll pay for it. So you do have the ADI injection to cool the engines. The pilot controls that with this switch right here. So if your engine uh, gets a little hot, or you need to push it hard, go ahead and turn on your ADI pump. Use your gang switch to hit all your ADI switches on. And this is your ADI quantity. So right now we're pumping ADI fluid into the cylinder heads to cool the engines. Uh, it's ticking down 99, 98, and soon 97%. So you can't do that forever. Turn that off, but that is an option to help cool the engines when you need max performance. And uh, finally, when you need to refill that ADI fluid, you can do it on your control panel here. So at this point, you are good to go for a flight in the uh, awesome A2A 377 in the latest edition of Falcon Air. Uh, other videos can come, or if you have questions, let me know, and I'll be glad to answer them. Whether you're uh, one of our pilots in our virtual group or just a YouTube user let me know. But anyways, excellent plane, one of my favorites to fly. Really happy it's working at FSC. Thanks for watching.